All right, I'm gonna go over aligning the laser to a very small section of the bed. Uh, first things first, let's put it in my piece of cardboard. Uh, I don't see it on the laser, so I'm gonna go ahead and say reconnect the camera there. All right, and now let me load up my camera interface. Okay, here's my camera. Now I'm gonna turn off aspect ratio and then I'm gonna turn off perspective. Now this perspective is all screwed, so I'm going to say reset perspective. Okay, now uh, correct perspective doesn't do anything. Okay, now you'll know my laser uh, is upside down relative to my camera. Uh, this is not an issue. So, let's, uh, first things first, let's go ahead and flip across. So if I replace this with this, that should, uh, the items go in order. So this is the upper right corner, then this one there. Let's say correct perspective. Nope. These two also have to switch. All right. So... This is uh, red is top corner, green is other top corner, then it's blue, then yellow, and they go in that order. Okay, so correct perspective. Uh, okay, now you can tell that I at least have the camera right, but there's no way that that's aligned. Now let me put it on a sheet of paper. All right. Normal sheet of paper. Not doing anything weird with it. Uh, my camera doesn't have any uh, fisheye because it's just a normal webcam. So rather than get full perspective, I just have it hooked up to the top. Uh, and I so I don't need to do the uh, detect uh, calibration thing or download the uh, little chessboard pattern. Uh, you can see the wiki for more information on that. Okay, so let's do a rectangle zero zero, and then I'm going to do let's try uh, fifty millimeters by fifty millimeters. Okay, and let's do uh, fill red. All right, so now fill red. Let's load up my uh, project thing. And let's go ahead and center that. Okay. Now, uh, reconnect camera. It's the main camera and the other camera sort of disagreeing. Because when you close down one, it uh, closed down the other. And then stopped updating. Okay. So, uh, so center. That works perfectly fine. Let's put this in... Uh, here, so my settings here, 35 millimeters a second. Uh, let's go ahead and do that at uh, 45. Should be fine. I'm just cutting paper, and then underneath the paper, I have a uh, cardboard. So that's fine. Now I'm going to hit my go button. Uh, you too can have a go button. Okay, and so this will cut my sh little uh, chunk of paper and my other one and should cut underneath it some of the uh, cardboard. So if you see here in the home section, you can see uh, it's still upside down. Okay, uh, no, that's correct. Okay, so here you can see that I have a paper, the other thing. there and do this stuff okay so I have my paper there now what I need to do I'm gonna put my paper over the spot that cut it so all right perfectly back aligned now I'm going to select my project again Let's go to the upper left-hand corner. 
and now I'm going to call this my home. So if I load up my uh, configuration, I can shift set my home position, and now this is home. So when I home, it goes there, and then it goes right back to the corner where it uh, performed that operation before. So now this is my home position. So this is what counts as zero, zero. And then the only other thing is to set my bed dimensions, which I know since I made how big I wanted it to be 50-50 is exactly 50-50. Now, I know that my, uh, that my bed is the correct size, as the same size as the uh, object, and that my home location is also right at the corner of the object. So that's two out of the things that are needed. Now I'm now when I uh, do it in the camera settings, this is uh, going to be quite easy. I just uh, move this out of the way. Uh, I, I, I can't just home it because it'll pop straight back in the way. So go ahead and tuck it out there. OK, now I turn off correct perspective. Now what I have is my camera uh, over the entire bed, but what I actually want is it just over the tiny piece of paper. Now this will take the entire camera thing, uh, the entire camera view, and change the perspective so it exactly matches the tiny sheet of paper. So no matter what angle my camera is at, this will work because my bed size will exactly equal uh, the rest of it. So now when I click correct perspective, I get a blank sheet. And this is the constant camera uh, is doing it. So let's do this. Let me reconnect my camera. Okay, now uh, this is actually my live camera view. So let me put in a Dixon Ticonderoga black uh, number two pencil. Okay, now we can see the eraser there. It's facing the correct direction. Now let me uh, load up a thing of text that says uh, text um, meerkat uh, scale 10. Text by default is pretty small. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. Now what I have here is I want the meerkat there. Now I'm going to use my number pad keys to adjust it. Let's go ahead and uh, make it smaller by a little bit. Let's go ahead and rotate it this way. Rotate it this way. Mm. Okay. Now please note, I didn't jig any of this. I didn't have anything else done. I am putting my text in the raster operation. So let's go ahead and do this raster operation. Uh, bottom to top, uh, raster step two, bi direction. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Now I'm just going to hit uh, start and it goes straight to uh, lasering. And you can see it here because it has a super zoomed in view and it's lasering on the pencil uh, pretty close to where I put it. Uh, the thing has finished sending it, so it just has to finish up the data for the rest of it. And let me move this off the edge. Now, uh, updating the image, it's a little hard to see, but I'll show you a picture in post. But I now have a pencil that uh, pretty clearly says Meerkat and uh, right there at the edge, and it looks perfectly straight. Uh, here's a picture of it. So that's how you align your camera to a very small uh, section of uh, view and set your bed to correspond to your camera perfectly fine. All right, uh, thanks for watching.